Hey guys, Chad Trofkerbin here from the Incredible Tutorials YouTube channel. Jim Mills and I have teamed up with Smith Micro to bring you these brand new Anime Studio 10 tutorials. So I hope you're ready, because we're about to get started. The camera tools in Anime Studio Pro allow you to track, zoom, roll, and tilt the camera. Essentially what this will do is move all the layers in your project file to present a different view of the action. Come over here to your left toolbar and click on the camera with a plus sign underneath the camera panel. This is the track camera tool. Now come over here to your canvas, click and hold down your left mouse button and drag around to move the canvas around. You'll see that we are now tracking the camera and everything is moving according to it. You'll notice that the foreground layers, the ground and the road, are moving faster than the background layers. And that is because with the Move Layer tool, I have positioned these layers closer to the camera than that of the mountain, sky, and clouds. Anything closer to the camera will move faster, while anything further away from the camera will move slower. Next, let's look at the Zoom tool. Coming over here to your canvas, Click and hold down your left mouse button and drag downwards to zoom in. This is great if you want to emphasize action in your animation. And now drag upward to zoom out. The roll camera tool will create the effect that you are rolling your camera. So coming over here, if we click and hold down the mouse button and go left, we will roll counterclockwise. If we go right, we will roll clockwise. And the final tool, the tilt camera tool, will give off the illusion that you're panning or tilting your camera. So coming over here, if we click and drag, you'll see that it gives off an almost 3D effect of the pan. And this is great, once again, if you want to get a different view of the action taking place, especially if you have a 3D object. With all the camera tools, you can adjust the settings numerically at the top of the software. So if I come up here with my pan and tilt options, I can, for instance, put in a number for the pan, let's say five, and it'll automatically adjust the pan of the camera, the tilt, and so on. I can also hit the reset button to reset all of my values. And again, I can do this for all of the tools. You can adjust the roll numerically in reset. You can adjust the zoom. And for the track camera, you can adjust the X, Y, and Z properties numerically. X will bring the camera horizontally, Y will bring it vertically, and Z will bring the camera in and out depth-wise in your project. So if you want to bring the camera closer to the mountains, you could do so by using the Z properties. And of course, you can also reset at any time, just like you can any other tool. All of the camera tools can be animated out on the timeline. So if we come down here just for demonstration purposes and go to frame 30, and now we take the track camera tool and we just move the environment around. We can take the zoom tool and zoom in. We can take the roll tool and just roll the camera. And we can do a little pan and tilt as well. You'll notice on my timeline that all these keyframes have been set for each property of the camera. And now if I scroll back, we can see the animation take place. And that is a quick rundown of Anime Studio Pro's camera tools. If you have any other questions regarding Anime Studio, please check out the official Anime Studio website at anime.smithmicro.com. I have many more Anime Studio 9 tutorials out there, so check them out, and I'll see you guys next time.